Hello and good evening. I'm Cheryl D'Souza and you're watching Goa 365. Our headlines at the hour. Thalikao MLA lodges complaint against the police at Panjim Town Police Station. Goa to buy more power to tide over the shortage. CCP workers strike work to show solidarity with the mayor. Collection of garbage gets affected. Politicians cutting across party lines demand judicial inquiry. And to lighten up the weekend, we have Remo Fernandez. Those were our headlines. Now for the news in detail. A day after being released on bail, the Thaligao MLA Babush Monserrat got the ball rolling to take the police to task for the assault on him, his wife and his son. Accompanied by his advocate Arun Disa, yesterday evening he lodged a complaint against the former North Goa Superintendent Neeraj Thakur, Deputy Superintendent Mohan Naik, PI Panjim Town Sudesh Naik and 50 junior police personnel. The main accused uh, is the uh, SP, the uh, 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 Niraj Thakur. Uh, Thakur, then the DYSP and the PI of Panjim Police Station. Mohan Naik. Mohan Naik. Mohan Naik. You have given copy to whom now? I have given a copy. This copy goes to the Chief Secretary, the Director General of Police, and one, uh, one is to the Inspector himself. Speaking to reporters after filing the complaint, Mr. Monserrat accused the police for not filing an FIR of his son and threatened to knock on the doors of the High Court for direction. Oh, my son had filed a complaint, I think, yesterday, the day before yesterday. Now they have still not uh, registered that complaint. I will be taking up the uh, matter in the High Court on Monday. Mr. Monserrat also demanded immediate suspension of police personnel before commencement of an inquiry. Plus, my demand with the government is very clear on this thing. We want first suspension of all the three officers and then initiate inquiry, as has been done in the case of Serafin, uh, Serafin uh, Dias, where he was suspended and uh, inquiry uh, would be conducted for, uh, further. So I am waiting the response of the government and I would like to see what action the government takes. Further speaking, he said he would also file cases with the National Human Rights Commission in Delhi. The waiting. And I will be uh, going to Delhi, uh, in fact, to fi uh, file a complaint with the uh, uh, National Human Rights uh, Commission. Though not a congressman, Babush disclosed of meeting the Congress High Command along with his wife and son. I will be meeting the uh, Congress High Command leaders also. I will be taking my son, I will be taking my wife along. And I would like them to see what is the, uh, this same Congress government which has been run here. See, uh, see what is the action that Congress High Command would like them to do. Goa has been facing an acute power shortage in the past few months. And thinking about the summer staring us in our faces, this situation seems bleaker. However, the power minister, Alexo Sequeira, claims to have the situation under control. Addressing the media, the power minister explained that Goa was buying power from various players However, it was still facing a shortage of 40 megawatts of power during the peak hours. From the central grid, besides power from Reliance Energy Limited, GEPL, GEPL, Goa, Goa Energy Private Limited, Amana. And Goa Sponge Private Limited, Sangye. Goa Sponge Limited. Facing a peak hour shortfall of around 40 odd megawatts of power. He said that the shortfall was because Lanco Trading from Delhi, from whom power was being drawn, stopped the supply. The tender was then allotted to Lanco Trading. Power company. Lanco. Lanco. L-A-N-C-O. Mumbai based? Delhi. 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 And we, dis and we were purchasing power at about 7 rupees 14 naya paise. Per 14 unit. 14? 1 4. Per unit. And what is the rate in general? Alexo Sequero informed that his department has now made arrangements to purchase another 51 megawatts of power from three other suppliers to tide over, which would be available in the next 30 days. 
thereafter, we have been able to arrange additional power, 10 megawatts from Sipat. From? from Sipat 2. It's a power generating station that is coming up in SIP 80. SIP 80. Sipat 2. We have been allotted by the central government 10 megawatts. Is it Rajasthan? Chhattisgarh. Uh, Sipat 1. We have been allotted 20 megawatts of power. And we have been recently allotted about about uh, not about 21 21 megawatts from Ratnagiri gas uh, the Ratnagiri gas power plant. 21 megawatts of power. Double, double. Double. Now all this power will really start loading, rolling uh, within the next 15 to He also added that since Goa has surplus power during the non-peak hours, they would give the Madhya Pradesh Power Department 50 megawatts between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. and in return would receive 60 megawatts of power from 6.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. As I said, Goa has surplus power between 11 in the night and 6 in the evening. We have finalized with the Madhya Pradesh Power Department of the corporation, the, the government body there, to give them 50 mega, megawatts of power between midnight and 6 in the morning. 12 to 6 in the night. And they in turn will give us 50 megawatts of power for 4 hours. That is from around 6, 6.30 in the evening to about 10, 10.30 in the night. Presently, the state's power requirement is 440 megawatts while the Central Guild supplies an allotted quota of 403 megawatts. 16 megawatts from Reliance, 15 megawatts from Goa Energy Private Limited and 4 megawatts from Goa Sponge Limited. Allotted quotas from the Government of India are uh, from Central Generating Stations, uh, 403 megawatts, besides 16 megawatts from uh, Reliance Power, Besides 1, 6. Besides uh, 15 megawatts from Goa Energy Private Limited. Besides 4 megawatts from Goa Sponge Private Limited. And as I told you, now there's 51 megawatts plus 50 megawatts from Madhya Pradesh. We'll spill into a commercial break. Stay with us.